reading got me out of the cotton field, wow. picking cotton and chopping cotton. And I still do it, even though I ain't got to pick cotton no more. <laughs> I'm getting tired of African Americans being labeled as felons for doing something I did. Okay, all that happens to people like me when we smoke marijuana is we go to the Dave Matthews Band concert. Thomas Day is challenging Congressman Danny Davis in the Democratic primary to represent the Illinois 7th Congressional District. There are no Republicans on the ballot. The district includes downtown Chicago, the Gold Coast, the West Side, part of the South Side, and the near West suburbs. Lake Street used to have factories everywhere where if you wanted a job, you can get it. We need to get those jobs back. Here's how I plan on doing that. Investing in our workers. Day has no government experience, but he has built support for his campaign. Day served in the Army for five years and deployed to Iraq. He's a combat veteran. He certainly has enough business acumen to bring some solutions to Illinois, and I think Tom would actually be a good fresh voice for the 7th District. We just need somebody that's not a career politician to go in there with, with the gusto, you know, with, you know, from the belly to get things done. He's got solid ideas to grow the district. A couple of years ago, uh, I teamed up with a couple of other Iraq War veterans and we built this new nonprofit business incubator for veteran-owned startups. New businesses create jobs. And I know uh, what entrepreneurs do and how they create new jobs for the people of this district. Congressman Davis has represented the 7th District for nearly 20 years. <laughs> Every two years we have to run and get approval to keep working. And so I'm running for approval to keep working. I think Congressman Davis has the wisdom and the fortitude to move the 7th Congressional District forward. He's able to explain very complex situations that go on in Washington, D.C. And he explains them in a way that I can understand. He seems to be someone who cares about protecting our most vulnerable citizens, especially seniors and uh, poor and working families. Millions and millions and millions and millions and billions of federal dollars have come to the 7th. Congressional District. Day has been critical of the congressman's record and ethics. Congressman Davis has accepted tens of thousands of dollars from the pharmaceutical industry, even though he oversees the pharmaceutical industry from his seat in the House Ways and Means Committee. He's missed three times more votes than your average congressman. My opponent seemed to know so little about how things actually operate. Every consultant that somebody hired to help them with their campaign, when they know they can't win, they say you better go negative. Democrats in the 7th District will get the chance to decide between Congressman Davis and Mr. Day on Tuesday, March 15th. In Chicago, Patrick Martin, Mendel Reports.